Here's how the challenge works. Anyone who dares to take on the Sasquatch gets 60 minutes to finish the seven and a half pound burger. That's big enough to feed eight people. If you succeed, your picture gets a permanent place on the Bigfoot Lodge's wall of fame. 1,300 people have started the challenge. Only four have finished. With the beautiful people of Memphis chanting my name, 13 minutes left on the clock, and one quarter of the Sasquatch staring me in the face, I make my painful decision. Officially. Touchdown in the land of the Delta Blues In the middle of not quite rain Yeah, I got a first class driver But I'm as blue as a boy can be And I'm walking in Memphis I was driving with my feet three feet off a field I'm driving in Memphis But do I really feel the way I feel? <laughs> Tennessee. And in fact, there is Elvis Presley Boulevard sign right there. Hope you can see it. Elvis Boulevard to Graceland. So, yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, so that was pretty dang cool. So, we're heading to downtown Memphis to check out some of the stuff like Beale Street and the Big Pyramid and all that good stuff that you see when you're in Memphis. And show you Memphis. We we're actually in Memphis last night. And it was like dark, but like it was cool to see the Beale Street by dark and stuff, so you'll see that as well. But yeah, let's go to go Memphis in the day because it's pretty cool. So let's go have some fun and let's go! Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we are downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, here we are. I'm walking in Memphis, walking with my feet 10 feet off of Beale. Picture. All right, so, but today we're at the Kooky Canuck. Kooky Canuck to do the very famous. What is now called the Cucamonga Burger Challenge, we used to be called the Sasquatch Burger Challenge. So this burger and challenge was on Man vs. Food, the original series with Adam Richman. In fact, it was season one, episode two, uh, the Memphis episode. So in this challenge, we have a seven and a half pound burger called the Cucamonga, again, used to be called the Sasquatch. It consists of four pounds of beef and then three and a half pounds of both a huge bun and then the vegetables. So it's pretty big. The challenge is sometimes served with fries, however, they're never uh, required. It's not part of it. It's just the burger, which is very interesting. Um, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun, really cool. There have been like over 4,000 attempts on this challenge, over four or 5,000 attempts, and there's only been about 20 some winners. So you can tell, not a lot of winners. Um, not only do I have the challenge we're doing today, the famous one, but there is also a two person burger challenge and then a four person burger challenge here as well. So pretty dang cool. With that, we're gonna head on in, see what we can do, should be fun. If we uh, win, we get the meal for free. If not, we pay $42 plus tax, and we also get our picture on the Wall of Fame if we win. So that's pretty cool. It's a very distinguished Wall of Fame, featuring loads of eaters. Um, there are some crazy records, the current record being by Matt Stoney when he was in his prime back in the day. Matt was killing it back then um, at like something like five minutes, which is insane. But anyway, we're just gonna go have some fun, see what we can do. Uh, we're not gonna eat it crazy, crazy, because that would involve dunking and stuff, but we're just gonna eat, have fun, and walk into Memphis. Oh, and by the way, this is a Canadian-themed bar, which is really ironic, so I'm a Canadian. I'll, I'll give you the real gist of how it is, but let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. So it looks really good. It is definitely a big burger. Um, it's in very interesting that you serve with fries. We don't eat them, so just the burger itself. All right, well, how about we get started here? Say the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So pretty hot. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at the Kooky Canuck, previously known as the Sasquatch or Sasquatch Bar or whatever here in Memphis, Tennessee, guys. I was so excited to be down here if you couldn't tell. This was a challenge I've seen like years ago and I was like I want to do that and here we are finally doing it not to mention Memphis guys just in general I've been wanting to go to Beale Street I've been in love with the song walking in Memphis for 
geez, probably six years or something. Like I found that song and it just took over my life for a couple months. I was just so excited. I'm not a big Elvis Presley fan, but just like the culture and everything around it, the history of how he took over America, like it is crazy. And so I was so, so, so excited to be not only in Memphis, guys, but here at the Kuki Canuck trying the Kuka Munga Challenge, or again, what used to be called the Sasquatch. Um, and this is one of three challenges they have. As I mentioned, this is the solo. They have a two-person, and they even have a four-person challenge. Now take that back, it's very hot. So what I think is so cool about this challenge, not only it being kind of like, I'll call it legendary, of course, being very famous, being on the Man vs. Food Show, and having like four or 5,000 attempts. Four or 5,000, that's crazy. Um, and only like 20 winners, so like horrible, horrible winning odds. Um, but I love how they present the winners. They literally frame everybody's picture, put it on the wall, and if you get a record, they sign a pl you uh, sign a plate and they frame the plate. So going into this challenge, I anticipated like I, I thought it was going to be very, very difficult, and I was just going to take it easy essentially for the challenge. Two minutes in, definitely a big burger patty. Coming on about now or soon after, I started to realize that I was moving through the patty pretty quickly. I originally, I anticipated not dunking at all because just I was so here. This is the honest plan. So there's the Randy Santel who claimed to have the non-dunking record at I don't know. Let's say it was like 13, 14 minutes. So I was like, okay, well that's what I will shoot for evidently. However, when I got through this beef, like or he's getting through this beef pretty easily, I was like, you know what, I'm. Like, I don't, I'm not set up for dunking, but I might do it. Like, um, I want to see, like, kind of where, or like how fast I guess I can actually go. So, uh, I start to kind of, you know, pick up a little bit, and, as, you know, definitely with the decision of dunking, that is a big time difference. Um, dunking, these kinds of buns are very thick, heavy buns. Each bun weighs one pound, so it's two pounds of bread and thick, like a pretty thick, dense bread. So, I mean, we're talking at least a five, six minute difference of dunking and no dunking with the final completion time. This is where the fun begins. And why dunking is a good idea. So Matt Stoney had the record at four minutes, 43 seconds, which is a great record. Huge kudos to Matt Stoney for doing that. And he did that probably Geez, I don't know, eight, nine years ago? I feel it was back in like 2013, 2012, something like very early in his uh, eating, in, in quite early at least in his eating days, when he had the really long hair and kind of the little bit of mustache going on. Um, then the other previous times, which are now second and third placings, um, were held by Mr. Pat Bertoletti and Joey Chestnut. I believe their times were something around like seven, eight minutes, and then uh, 11, about 10 or 11. Um, but essentially, like I said, if you beat the record, they'll sign a plate, I'll let you to sign a plate, and they'll frame it. So I was like, geez, man, like that would be super, super cool. So although I had a late start and wasn't able to kind of gun it from the get-go, I figured, hey, you know, I'm going to pick things up a little bit and ultimately see what happens. Um, so the burger itself, honestly, was pretty good. Uh, it had a solid seasoning, it had a solid flavor. Um, if it was like if I ordered a burger uh, casually and it tasted like that, of course it'd be a smaller variant. I'd be satisfied. I'd be happy with it. Um, the buns are definitely the, a big portion of this challenge, uh, and the, the vegetables. I mean, there's some on there, but I, I find vegetables are pretty easy to eat in general, um, being they're quite watery and they go down quite smoothly. So I would say ultimately if you are doing this challenge and you want to try to do it with any kind of speed, I would definitely recommend the dunking as that is greatly, greatly, greatly going to assist you in your time. Um, but you do have one hour to complete it to get it for free. So, I mean, you don't have to dunk if you just want to do it in an hour.
to that, everybody. I think that's all the info I have to give for you today. Uh, the only other thing I'll add is it was pretty funny. Our server was had zero confidence that either of us were going to finish. Like, zero confidence. She dropped off the burger, walked away, was like, yeah, 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 good luck. But, I mean, if you look at the odds of, you know, 20 out of four or 5,000, it makes sense. So, everybody, let's get the rest of the video. Hopefully, uh, we'll, well, ultimately, we'll see what happens, see if we both win. And uh, let's get it going. We're done. All right, six minutes, six seconds. Woo! It was a pretty tasty challenge. Very, 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 very big bun, big burger. But yeah, so I think that's officially the second quickest time. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I did do some of the dunking there at the end. Definitely does make it a bit easier. Raina's doing really well. She's about half done the burger, so we got her to finish up. And uh, yeah, so that, pretty cool. Good meal for free. And Raina's well on her way to victory as well. Excuse me. All right, well, I'm back. I got to give you my afterthoughts now you saw what happened. So I tell you what, guys, I'm going to be back in Memphis at some point. I'm going to go back and retry the challenge. At least I think I should. I let me down below if you think I should retry it. And I'm going to go in guns a blazing. I'm talking, you know, have cups prepared for dunking. Uh, I'm going to give them my all from the get go. And I just want to see what happens. I mean, hey, worst case, I probably do it slower. Maybe I fail it. But ultimately, let me know down below if you think I should go retry it one day, guys. Let me know what you think. And uh, let's get to the rest of the video, guys, as we uh, watch Rena attempt to defeat the Kukumunga Challenge. It may actually be 6.05, I'm sorry, but this is one time. They have such cool framings on the wall. That's pretty cool. It's not often that it looks so nice or they like give you such an accolade on a restaurant wall. And Raina will soon be on that as well. I think it's because I brought back the Happy Healthy Hunger Share. I haven't worn this in, geez man, it's been a long time. It might have been the last challenge I did with this shirt, might have been, excuse me. It might have been like before COVID. Man, it's been a while. It really does at least that superpowers. And if you want one yourself, links are down below. Just check out my Teespring store. You can grab yourself a Happy Healthy Hunger Share. Join the Happy Healthy Hunger Crew. Good stuff, Raina is doing real well. So we are 10 minutes and about 30 seconds in. She is well half done the burger patty and definitely half done the bun, so doing really well. Using all her tartar sauce.
12 minutes, 15 seconds in. Reyna still crushing it. Awesome. So, Reyna just finished up. 20 minutes, 7 seconds. Good job, Miss Wong. Thanks. So, with that, what do you think of the burger? It's pretty good. Just the bread is thick, but the bottom, but I don't know if you actually taste it because you're good, but the bottom bite is better than the top. Uh, it was softer. Soft. It had some juice, some burger juices with it. Yeah. So I can understand what you are relying and relating to. So everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Who would have thought again we'd be at a Canadian bar down here in Memphis, Tennessee, the Cookie Canuck. Again, the challenge seen on Man vs. Food. Adam Richmond, if you did not see it before, he did not finish this challenge. You got about halfway. But anyway, so yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until uh, next time. Hope you stay happy, healthy, hungry. Woo! Of course, happy eating. Uh, huge thanks for for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. Huge thanks to Memphis and Tennessee. It's a really cool spot. Lots of video coming your way with, with Beale Street, both at night and day and all that in between. And I think technically that is the fa second fastest time to ever do that challenge. So it's pretty cool as well. So that, and I believe that's also the quickest time for a female, I think. On the wall, according to the wall. I don't know if everybody's on the wall. But yeah, so thanks so much for joining us until next time. Just, you know what to do. Love your life, be happy, and have a lovely day. In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Bass Pro Drive. Bass Pro Shops! Pyramid! Yeah! Never would I have thought that Bass Pro Shops owns a freaking pyramid. I mean, obviously it's a huge store, but they have a pyramid, so that's pretty interesting. So let's go look what a pyramid looks like in Memphis. Memphis Pyramid. And there's even a hotel in the pyramid. My big animals. Sign says, welcome to paradise. We're in paradise. All right, then actually in the pyramid, which is obviously, as you can see, just huge and giant. It's literally like, almost like set up like an amusement park. It's just all kinds of little like huts and buildings and it really is like a paradise getaway. That is a very unique place. That is, this is really unique, wow. And they have alligators here as well. Just little ones, of course. That's pretty cool. Alligators here in Memphis, Tennessee. And we also have a longtime friend and subscriber, Mr. Jerry J here, so Memphis represents. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun, look at this place, and uh, get into some shenanigans. Like, big old huge gar. Like, that guy's massive. Like, massive, massive. Got all kinds of things in here. Got some stuffed wild boars. Pretty cool. Catfish. Giant catfish, absolutely catfish. huge. Yeah. Hi everybody, and here we are in a park. I don't know what it's called, but it is very pretty. Like, look, purple. Thank you. I didn't hear what he said, but it's called some kind of park. Anyway, and uh, here we got a lovely looking waterfall right in the middle of it. Not waterfall, water fountain, my apologies. Miss speaking today, but look at this. Very pretty. Got a little lady on top and all kinds of other thingy things bathing. Beautiful. This is great, like, this is this is really cool, actually. We got that little, I don't know, pyramid thingy thing, and what a great little cute park to have in downtown Memphis. And we're in the lobby of the Peabody Hotel, a hotel famous for having ducks walk through it. Somebody is cranking it on the piano, or it's just going by itself, but either way, beautiful. And yeah, so the famous Peabody Hotel in Memphis, where ducks walk through the lobby. All right, and there's me, but there's a legend of the duck. So basically, it's like the general manager, they went on a hunting trip, and they thought it'd be funny to place their live duck decoys in the fountain, which is right there. 
of the hotel. Um, so they did it and people absolutely loved it and then it became a internationally famous tradition to have the ducks in the pond um, to which they walk from the roof all the way down the elevator into the pond every day and the shows are at 11 and 5. Unfortunately we missed it, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, there's a group of mallards I guess, so maybe we'll see it again. Legend of the ducks. Don't try to chase them or anything else. And actually, here's the ducks are in the in the pond of the Peabody Hotel. Ducks just hanging out in the water, that's hilarious. So yeah, a little, you know, who would have thought that in such a nice hotel in Memphis, you would have ducks in the fountain. And behind the sign for the Hard Rock, there's the sign for the Orpheum Theater that we saw in the dark. But that was the sign of the day. And that's just off of Beale, which Beale is just right up there. So we'll see Beale in the daytime. Memphis Music Hall of Fame, Lansky Bros. It's got some cool stuff. Hard Rock Cafe by day, although I do think it's all boarded up. Um, there's the one end of the Beale Street Blues sign one day. Here we got BB King's Blues Club right here. And this is Memphis, or Beale Street I should say, by day. So yeah, definitely like looks a little different. I mean, you know, you still have the signs lit up, but they don't stand out quite the same. But yeah, I guess you can drive on it during the day. At night it was all just walking only, so let's see a little more of it. And as we see more of Beale, you see this place literally knocked the back of the building down, and they just kept the front. Like, you can just see right through it, so that's pretty interesting. And Daisy Hall, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but definitely mentions renting the Daisy for your wedding receptions, concerts, private parties, banquets, and events, and for more information, call that number. I promise you they're not paying me, I just thought it looked very cool. And with love from Memphis! And here we have the key titled king himself, Mr. Elvis Presley. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. And this, I believe, is called Elvis Presley Square. I think there's a statue of B.B. King over there as well. And the Orpheum Theater by day. And they're actually advertising some stuff, so there you go. Cool. And then they have some old-timey buses and trolleys operating. So it's pretty cool. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Also, I want you to join the Happy Healthy Hungry family. That's right guys, hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little thing that looks like my face. And then I picked two videos out specifically for you. That's right, I picked out two videos just for you. I know you're gonna like them. So real quick, hit one of these right here. This video is gonna go away in a couple seconds. So please hit them. Three, two, one, click one. Let's go.